Okay, so let's jump right in here. One of the most important techniques to master if you're going to be able to do a more advanced kind of muted funk picking patterns is to alternate a dead note, just kind of a muted string, with a fretted note. Okay, so in the first example in this lesson, I'm going to alternate a dead G string with the note on the second fret. Okay, I'm going to do this with a metronome very slowly at 60 BPM. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. I'm accomplishing that dead string sound there by lightly applying pressure on the string, but not enough to fret the note. So we get that real dead sound. Now you need to be able to do this alternating with a dead note and a fretted note really up to tempo is probably at least 120 or even maybe 130 BPM. So I suggest you start with this first exercise at 60 BPM and gradually increase your tempo until you can get up to probably 120. Okay, now do that in increments of 5 BPM. <laughs> All right, so let's break this one down now. We're starting by hitting that G string dead, followed by a note at the second fret, the A note. So do that twice. One, E, and, a. Uh. One, E, and, a. Uh. Going down to an open A string. Keep it heavily palm muted with the uh, right hand. Again. All right, now on the third beat, there's a rest right on that first 16th note, but you are still gonna keep your hand in motion and move it in the downward direction. That means that first note that you're gonna hit on beat three is gonna be an upstroke there at the second fret. That was the first three beats. On beat four, we're moving up, shifting up our first finger to play that F sharp note. Second finger on the G note. Third finger on that C note. And then move up that third finger to play that C sharp. So that fourth beat is. So altogether, that first measure is. One more time. All right, then on beat one of the following measure, it's all rest. But I would keep the hand in motion to keep your time real tight. So. One, E, and, uh. All right, see, so I keep that in motion to have me come back on my downstroke on beat two. All right, from there, it's. Hammer on from the 5th to the 7th fret at the end there. Let that last note ring out. So all together from the beginning of this rhythm, it is the following. Again. All right, now let's play that real slow with the metronome at 55 BPM. One, two, three, four.
All right, let's break this one down real slow here. Starting at the seventh fret on the G string on the second 16th note of the fourth beat. So this is one, two, three, four. So you're starting on an upstroke there. Couple dead strokes and up to the ninth fret. Again. Down to the D string, alternate with a dead stroke, seventh fret, dead stroke, fifth fret. So, so far we have this. The next beat is a full beat of rest, coming back on beat four of that measure with three dead strokes. So far from the beginning we have this. One. Two, three, four. All right, the next measure is very straight ahead. We'll play it real slow. Then you go back to the beginning. All right, I'm going to play this one very slow with the metronome. All you got to do is make sure you keep your right hand in 16th note motion. Come in the right spot here at the second 16th note of beat four on that first measure. And then pay attention to the rest. Even if there is a rest, your hand is going to keep in motion. One, two, three, four. There's a couple important things to learn in this example. The first is that I'm not playing any dead notes. I'm always playing fretted notes, but I'm keeping my timing very precise by keeping that right hand in motion. That is what's keeping my timing locked in. Okay, another thing here is the use of chromaticism. So like I'm going from that seventh fret, the A note, the root there on the D string down to the flat seven. So anywhere in our scale, I'm thinking kind of A mixolydian here, anywhere in our scale where I have a whole step distance in between scale notes, I can put that middle note in and use it as chromaticism. I do it again here, moving from the second to the fourth fret, right there. That's the second to the major third of the chord. And again, from the fifth fret to the seventh fret there, that's going from the fourth to the fifth in that scale, the D note to the E note. So the use of chromaticism is really cool in doing this kind of funk muted picking style. All right, this last example is kind of tricky, but what I did here is I created just a very simple kind of rhythmic figure and then started repeating it at kind of a strange place in the measure so it doesn't quite line up where you think it would. All right, I'm going to play this really slowly with the metronome, this one at 50 BPM. 